Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number four of season three NASCAR Walmart Cup Series. I am Levi McIntyre, a.k.a. Thrash Maniac 99, the voice of NASCAR Walmart Cup Series, here to welcome you to the Golden Corral 500 at Atlanta Motor Speedway at one of the fastest mile-and-a-half tracks and also one of the most exciting races in the Walmart Cup Series schedule. And this race was recorded on the same day I recorded the Las Vegas race. So once again, joining with me for the commentary is David Rivera. How are you doing again? Doing good. Sweet. So, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Washer, after winning the race last weekend at Las Vegas, as well as the week before at Rockingham, UK, Chris Washer has gotten a big points lead to him now. So, there's really no need to go through the points this week, at least right now. But, ladies and gentlemen, here's a look at your starting lineup for the Golden Corral 500. Imagine the dreams of a 13-year-old Looking up at the sky, wondering how the world can be so cold This kid wasn't sold, it would be like this At night time, wishes to be safe from this abyss Cause this shit is something that can be dismissed A boy born as a girl who is going through the stress He's got a shotgun up, but can't play for the team His school won't let them even know it's his dream Now he's sitting in bed with a loaded gun Thinking about blowing his brains out to kingdom come Cause he's been bullied and teased all his life Almost killed himself two years ago by slitting his wrist with a knife I wonder if he sees the things I see for him Ten years down the line speaking at the forum A college graduate up at the top of his class The first trans in the felt Well there you have it Up in the front row Trent Dunham on the pole with Eric Burton second Right behind him is Austin Weiner, Jessica Sheldon, Jesse King and Seth Cole Ladies and gentlemen Boogity 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 Let's go racing, boys and girls. Night racing here at Atlanta. So this is going to be very exciting. And Trent Dunham got off to a decent jump, and now Austin Weiner running right behind him. And Austin Weiner's trying to get some momentum going because he comes into this race not so well in the point standings, and he would love to get himself a victory in order to get some momentum built for himself here in the upcoming races. And who led that lap? It was close, but who led it? It was Trent Dunham, but Austin Weiner is now your leader. And look who's coming in right behind him, Cody Lamas. Already this field has gotten shuffled around big time. And so far we're seeing some great racing. No incidents, at least just yet. Hopefully it stays that way. But you never know. So since we're still green, I wanted to ask you, who do you think is your pick to win this race? Well, for me, of course, last time I was able to go with the 24 car. I'll probably go with a little bit different approach. I am looking for Austin to maybe try and pick up a win, but you never know. Yeah, and right now he's got two cars right behind him, and they're like, tandem working together Cody Lamas and Dylan Thero but now here comes Dylan Thero underneath of Cody Lamas and look at this the top six have pulled away from everybody yeah, else something. on the track which is crazy because I see McCurry mm -hmm. and here he comes for third and then Renzi and Matthews and they're all about a half a second ahead of the second pack of cars from seventh on back but meanwhile, Austin Weiner, besides the first lap, he has been leading every lap so far. And even though I see they're going three wide for the most part, double wide, three wide, they are able to keep it straight and race clean and race hard at the same time. 
And since we are still green, we're actually going to take a look at how this field currently runs. Well, first, uh, I thought we were going to see a three-wide battle for the lead, but I guess that was not the case. But now we're actually going to go through a run through the field. Austin Weiner is your leader. Second is Anthony McCreary. Third is Cody Lamas. Fourth is Dylan Thero. Fifth is Cassandra Renzi. Sixth is Ken Thero. Seventh is Nick Pericles. Eighth is Gabe Williams. Ninth is Kyle Matthews. Tenth is Dylan Young. Eleventh is points leader and two-time winner this season, Chris Washer. Twelfth is Brandon Nichols. Thirteenth is Henrietta Fitzwater. Fourteenth is Zachary Fitzwater. Fifteenth, Alex Pedro. Sixteenth, Kendall Mayner. Seventeenth, Charles Jackson. 18th, Alex Hawkins. 19th, David Rivera. 20th is Jesse Setti. 21st is Eric and Rage. 22nd is Ryan Anderson Jr. Now that spot's going to go to Jekko Knight for the 23rd spot, I believe. Let's see where he gets scored. 22nd, so 23rd, Ian Dutta. 24th, Biggie Spencer. 25th, Ryan Anderson Jr. 26th, Eric Burden. 27th, Sonny Hammond. 28th, Cody Hagen. 29th, Jessica Shelton. 30th is Matt McIntyre. Or actually, yeah, 30th. 31st is Larry Hagen. 32nd is P.J. Williams. 33rd is Michael Walden. 34th, Jordan Culp. 35th, Trent Dunham, who was on the pole. And look how far he has fallen. He's fallen yeah, back to 36th. 37th, oh, wow. Justin Talampas, 38th is Chase Oliver, 39th is Ian Siegel, 40th, Seth Cole, or actually 39th, Seth Cole, 40th, Jesse King, 41st, Rue McIntyre, and last is Michael Norman. Meanwhile, we have a new leader, and that's Cassandra Renzi. So far, a bunch of drivers have gotten around Austin Weiner for the lead and other positions. So now Renzi is the leader. And right behind her is Nick Pericles, who's now all of a sudden up here to second. Austin Weiner has now fallen down to the sixth position after getting shuffled from the lead down to the sixth spot. But still, with everybody still running up to speed and no wreck, still anybody has a shot to win this race. Yeah, I think there's going to be definitely, as we just seen, a lot of change-ups here. So we might just get a couple of more, I'm pretty sure about that. Indeed. And actually, let's take a look at how the top 10 currently runs now after the shuffle-up and the shake-up in the top 10 as Cassandra Renzi leads, second Cody Lamas, third is Gabe Williams, fourth Dylan Thero, fifth. Austin Weiner, 6th is Nick Pericles, 7th Kyle Matthews, 8th is Chris Washer, 9th Anthony McCurry, 10th Henrietta Fitzwater. Let's take a look at some notables. Let's try to find Trent Dunham. He is back in the 34th position at the current moment. So far not the best run after starting on the pole, leading the first lap, and getting shuffled all the way back to 31st. Mm. Let's take a look at Dylan Young. He is currently running in 22nd. The next person I was going to look at is Jessica Sheldon right behind him in the 23rd position. The next person to look out for, let's find where Charles Jackson runs. He is running in the 34th spot. So not that great of a run at the moment. Chase Oliver running around the 40th position. Then the next person to look after is Rue McIntyre right there in the th in 37th, it looks like. Next up, Jekko Knight. He currently runs in the 19th position. Or at least that's where he was scored. Seth Cole, he is back in the 27th spot. Next up is Eric Burden, who's just up there ahead in the 25th spot, and Anthony McCurry in the 17th spot, Ian Dutta in 19th, and then the last notable we're going to look at is Jesse Setti, who is up in the 15th spot. 
As we go back up to the front, let's see if Cassandra Renzi still leads, and she does, but Cody Lamas is right there on that back bumper. So far, 17 straight laps, or 16 straight laps, no caution. That's really something and really amazing. Hopefully it's going to be able to keep up, too. Yeah, I would hope if we can go through this entire race without a caution, that would be something. We've only had very few races in Walmart Cup competition where there was no caution at all. The one race I can mm -hmm. remember vividly off the top of my head that was so exciting that it that had no cautions, and that was Watkins Glen last season even though at road courses there are automatically no cautions but no wrecks no cars out of the race or lap down they all finished on the lead lap and finished the race so that was very very interesting meanwhile cody Lama's having a hard time trying to find a line to get around cassandra renzi for the lead When we get to the next lap, we're going to go through the run-through of the field once again to see how they currently run at the moment. And it's going to start now since we're on lap 20 now of 49. So we're about five laps away from the halfway point of this race. But Cassandra Renzi is your leader. Second is Cody Lamas. Third is Gabe Williams. Fourth is Dylan Thero. Fifth is Nick Pericles. Sixth is Austin Weiner. Seventh is points leader Chris Washer. Eighth is Ken Thero. Ninth is Henrietta Fitzwater. Tenth is Alex Hawkins. Eleventh is Brandon Nichols. Twelfth is Jesse Setti. Thirteenth is Biggie Spencer. Fourteenth is Ian Dutta. Fifteenth is Eric Burden. Sixteenth is Dylan Young. Seventeenth, Jessica Shelton. Eighteenth, Seth Cole. Nineteenth, PJ Williams. Twentieth is Jekko Knight. 21st is Eric and Rage. 22nd is David Rivera. 23rd is Kendall Maynard, now to Zachary Fitzwater. 24th, Kendall Maynard. 25th is Larry Hagan. 26th is Ian Siegel. 27th is Charles Jackson. 28th now is Justin Talampas. 29th, Kyle Matthews. 30th, is Michael Walton. 31st is Anthony McCreary. 32nd is Rue McIntyre. 33rd is Michael Norman. 34th is Chase Oliver. 35th, I believe, or actually 36th, I think, is Matt McIntyre. 37th, let's see where Jesse King has scored. He has scored 38th, so he's 38th. 39th is Alex Pedro, 40th, Jordan Kolb, 41st, Ryan Anderson Jr. And look at Trent Dunham. Started on the pole, led the first lap, and now he's back in dead last. Wow, that's crazy. Meanwhile, Cassandra Renzi continues to lead this race. As Cody Lamas, among others, are not really worrying about getting positions at the moment. They are just running a smart race saving their energy for the end. And also, we would be expecting here very soon green flag pit stops to take place, because after the pit stops, who knows how the field is going to be like. And now Cody Lamas has finally got underneath oh, yeah. of Renzi, and now Cody Lamas is your leader. Wow. Just as you said that, too, there's that quick change. So Lamas finally manages to get a run on Renzi, and is now your new leader. Cody Lamas sporting the AAA Toyota for Michael Waltrip Racing. And speaking of Michael Waltrip Racing, let's take a look and see how his teammates of that team are doing. Let's take a look at Eric Burton. He is in the 14th spot. And that is uh, it for his teammates, how they run. Meanwhile, Renzi trying to make another run at it, and Gabe Williams, Nick Pericles are trying to make some strides. Meanwhile, Gabe Williams is going underneath of Renzi for the second spot. And it looks like he is going to get the second position. 
Meanwhile, let's take a look at how the top 10 currently runs at the moment. It is Cody Lama's your leader. Second is Gabe Williams. Third is Cassandra Renzi. Fourth is Nick Pericles. Fifth is his teammate Dylan Thero. Sixth is Austin Weiner. Seventh is Ken Thero. Eighth is Alex Hawkins. Ninth is Henrietta Fitzwater. And then tenth now is going to go to Jesse Setti, or at least not just yet, but now she's there. Meanwhile, back up at the front, Cody Lamas leads, but Gabe Williams loses two spots. He's down the fourth, and now Renzi and Pericles are now up to second and third. Trent Dunham still not able to get any strides going for himself. And wait a minute, I think pit stops are taking place because Cody Lamas is slowing down along with Gabe Williams. Yep, and indeed they are. Pit stops are taking place. And remember, I think this could be their only stop. So this is the money stop for all these drivers. And Renzi decided to stay out an extra lap. Let's see if she is going to come in the pit road this time by. Let's keep an eye out on her miles per hour and... It looks like she is, as, long, as well as Pericles and Thero. So they are going mm. to come down. And Ian Siegel, Dylan Young are going to stay out an extra lap. Ian mm. Siegel, he's going to lead that lap in order to get an extra bonus point for leading a lap in a race. Dylan Young currently second. Trent Dunham stays out. And there's Cody Lamas. He comes out of the pits. We're going to have to keep our eye out on Cody Lamas since he came into the pits as the leader. We're going to double check and see where he's going to be scored by the time these pit stops are over. But there is Renzi, and she is coming out of the pits now. And she came in second in the pit road or at least was in the at least before the cycle started there is Cody Lamas and it looks like he is going to be able to get around Cassandra Renzi and depending on how others have their stops there is Ian Siegel who is getting ready to come out of the pits but I think Cody Lamas will be scored back around as your leader now even though he is scored in the fourth spot. And Sonny Hammond actually has damage on the rear of his car. He might have got into it with somebody in pit road. Let's take a look and see if anybody's lapped down. It is Jordan Culp who's a lap down. Let's see where he is. There he is right there in the 41st spot. Or actually, no, he's back on the lead lap. I guess it was just from cycling, but... Sonny Hammond's got damage on the rear of his car. In case we don't get a caution after the race, we'll take a look at a replay to see what happened to Sonny Hammond as to how he got that damage on the rear of his car. Meanwhile, after the pit stops, Cody Lamas is your leader again, but Cassandra Renzi is right there on the back bumper of the 15 and now she's going to the bottom to try to get the lead back and looks like it's going to happen at any moment and Gabe Williams is lurking into the picture and now here he comes oh yeah coming in full speed so now Cody goes from the lead down to third after that as it's 15 to go here at Atlanta mm -hmm. still plenty of time for some drivers to make some strides. But David, now that these pit stops have taken place and the field's gotten shuffled, who do you think is your pick to win now? Well, right now I am watching these top three cars, so I think they might just make it through the whole thing. But as far as who I am looking to win, probably has to be the number four car. Cassandra Renzi? It looks like it has to be right now, yep. And Gabe Williams actually gets around the four, and now he's to the lead. Now, Gabe Williams, even though he won the Season 2 championship, he didn't win a race 
and he is mm. on the hunt to trying to get his first career Walmart Cup Series victory, and will he be able to do it tonight? We will find out. Meanwhile, after those pit stops, let's take a look and see how the field currently runs at the moment. As Gabe Williams is your leader, second is Cassandra Renzi, third is Cody Lamas, fourth is Dylan Thero, fifth is Austin Weiner, sixth is Jesse Setti, seventh is Brandon Nichols, eighth is Biggie Spencer, ninth is Alex Hawkins, tenth is Nick Pericles, eleventh is Seth Cole, twelfth is Eric Burton, battle for 13th with Chris Washer and Jessica, Shel Jessica Shelton. Meanwhile, 15th is Henrietta Fitzwater, 16th is Jekko Knight, 17th is Charles Jackson, 18th is David Rivera, 19th is PJ Williams, 20th, rounding out the top 20, is Cody Hagen. 21st is Zachary Fitzwater, 22nd is Ian Siegel, 23rd is Kyle Matthews, 24th is Eric and Rage, 25th is Ian Dutta, 26th is Dylan Young, 27th is Ken Thero, 28th is Larry Hagen, 29th is Michael Norman, 30th is Chase Oliver, 31st is Matt McIntyre, 32nd is Kendall Maynard, 33rd is Jesse King, 34th is Michael Walton, 35th is Trent Dunham, 36th is Rue McIntyre, 37th is Anthony McCurry, 38th is Justin Talampas, 39th is Alex Pedro, 40th is Jordan Culp, 41st is Ryan Anderson Jr., and running dead last is Sonny Hammond. Meanwhile, a battle for the lead is starting to brew between Gabe Williams and Cassandra Renzi. And wow, they have pulled away from Cody Lamas. That they did. They have literally pulled away from that 15 car. Meanwhile, Williams still holds the lead. And when they come to the stripe here, it is eight to go here at Atlanta. So we are reaching the end of this race. And so far, this is unprecedented. Every car has been running on track on the lead lap. No cautions whatsoever. Even though Sonny Hammond has rear end damage on his car, he is up to speed. Meanwhile, this is a battle for third starting to brew between three cars, Cody Lamas, Dylan Thero, and Austin Weiner. Lamas has the spot, Thero and Weiner wants the spot. Meanwhile, back here we get a battle for six between Jesse Setti and Alex Hawkins going on right now. Meanwhile, we go back up to the front. Still the battle for the lead still going on between Renzi and Williams. And Williams had a little bit of a slower lap than Renzi. Renzi ran about five hundredths of a second faster than Gabe Williams on the last lap. Let's see the comparison this time. Williams actually had a had a five thousandth of a second faster lap than Renzi, so they almost ran identical lap times. It was just a little bit that Williams had over Renzi. But they are just pulling away from everybody else. And now this battle for thirds getting big as Llamas is now going to get bypassed by Dylan Thero and Austin Weiner. So now it's a two-car battle for the third spot between Weiner and Thero as it's now four to go here at Atlanta. Let's see if Austin Weiner's going to have anything for the 17 right mm -hmm. here. It kind of looks like it. Well, he's not pulling down to the bottom. Meanwhile, the battle for the lead continues. And these two are running almost identical lap times. Although oh, Williams yeah. Williams ran an 800th of a second fast, 8,000th of a second faster than Renzi. As it's now less than three to go, Renzi's going to have to try to dive low 
here in the next lap or so in order to try to get around for the lead and for the win. Mm -hmm. And they are almost approaching the 07 of Sonny Hammond. But I don't know if Hammond's going to be a factor or not after this race. Meanwhile, this battle continues. Renzi actually ran a faster lap that time than Williams. She is right there on the back bumper. Could we be seeing a photo finish here? We've seen it in real NASCAR many times here at this track. Here we go. White flag is out for Gabe Williams to try to get his first career Walmart Cup Series win as the defending series champion. Oh, man. Here we go. Renzi's not going for anything, and I yeah, don't know if she's time. going to be able to get around them. And here they go. They're coming off of turn four for the last time. Gabe Williams finally gets his first career Walmart Cup Series win, and he's going to get it at Atlanta. What a night in Atlanta. This was a hell of a race. Yeah, it was awesome. Unbelievable. And Gabe Williams, who, like I said, even though won the championship last season, he didn't win a race. And after last week's last place finish at Las Vegas this week, he rebounds and gets his first cup win of his career. Great job by the 33. And as we look at the rest of the results, Cassandra Renzi, so close to getting her first career Walmart Cup Series win herself. But props to her, the highest finishing rookie. Great job by that four team. Dylan Thero comes away with a solid third place finish. Great run for him. Austin Weiner, this was a run he needed. He comes away with a solid fourth place finish. And rounding out the top five is Cody Lamas. Great run for him. And finishing right behind him in the sixth spot was his teammate, Eric Burden. So great race for the Michael Waltrip Racing Team. Come away with fifth and sixth. Great job. Rounding out seventh is Alex Hawkins. Great run for him. Jesse Setti gets a solid eighth. Seth Cole, ninth, tenth is Biggie Spencer. And the rest of the top 20 was Brandon Nichols, Nick Pericles, Jessica Sheldon, Eric and Rage, P.J. Williams, David Rivera, Charles Jackson, Ian Dutta, Ken Thero, and Jekko Knight. The rest of the top 30 was Chris Washer, Larry Hagan, Kyle Matthews, Zachary Fitzwater, Ian Siegel, Dylan Young, Cody Hagan, Henrietta Fitzwater, Michael Norman, and Kendall Maynard. And the rest of the cars that finished in the top 40 were Jesse King, Chase Oliver, Michael Walton, Trent Dunham, Rue McIntyre, Anthony McCreary, Matt McIntyre, Justin Talampas, Alex Pedro, and Jordan Culp. And the last two to finish on the lead lap was Ryan Anderson Jr. and Sonny Hammond. So tough break for Sonny Hammond. And actually, real quick while we're at it, let's try and take a look and see how did Sonny Hammond get his damage he sustained As we are going back. Let's go to the helicopter camera. And see if anybody gets in him. Oh, Ryan Anderson Jr. got into him. That's what happened. I was wondering why there was rear end damage on the 07. And it was it from right there. But at least it wasn't enough damage to put them both out of the race. They were able to finish on the lead lap on top of all that so there you have it right there as we now go back up here to uh, the last lap stuff that's going to do it for the coverage of the golden corral 500 here at atlanta motor speedway the next race we have on the schedule is the one mile track of phoenix so that is going to be an exciting race but ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our coverage today of the Golden Corral 500 at night. Thanks to David Rivera for commentating with me. No problem, anytime, man. And ladies and gentlemen, here are your results, rookie points and regular points.
keep your head up like Tupac said. Yeah. And count the days till you get out and get that bread. Cause when Zoom gets out and has enough saved, he's starting up a business. High class planes, you think you're riding high up in that G5? Well, this guy's got ideas that'll blow your mind. Concepts and schematics that are unheard of. From a high school dropout label, there's a thug. So as he counts on the days till he gets out, I count down the day I fly with him right up in the clouds.